Good morning. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, guys. Hello. Are you ready? We yeah. are. Yeah. So what do you think we're doing today? Oh, that looks very interesting. Picnic. <laughs> it could be a picnic, couldn't it? What we're doing is we're looking at um, starting the weaning stage and we're looking at how we can help parents change from milk to solid food for their babies. And so this is the sorts of things that you need. But first of all, we're going to wash our hands, which actually I've just washed my hands, so you don't need to see me washing my hands. And then we're going to just use something like this just to spray the surfaces and clean it, can which we've just done. Can I hold the cloth? You can spray. Oh. See if you can do some spraying. That's very good. <laughs> yeah. okay. Good. So the, the surfaces are clean and we've washed our hands. And these are the sorts of things that you need. We're going to start, it's always good to start babies on vegetables. Do you why? know why that is? Have to. Because we don't really want them to get too sweet a tooth. It's very easy for us to get a sweet tooth. So we always recommend that parents start their babies on just different vegetables for the first week or two, probably two to three weeks, until the baby eats just about anything and everything. And then they take to the fruit, the sweeter things, really easily. And, um, and it sets down really good um, eating patterns when they get older. So what have you got in your hand there? These are really good foods that you can start with. So we've got parsnips. I don't really like parsnips. Parsnips are fantastic. And actually, do you know what's really important? Well, actually, Pat's Gordon can tell us. Do you know how many times you have to give a baby something before they get used to it if they don't like it? Uh, is it ten? It is. It's about eight to ten times. So if you give them something and they sort of go, Pit, they don't like it, you keep giving it to them every day. And after about sort of a week to ten days, they just take it and they love it. Mm. Really? What else have we got? So what's this? What is this? It's a... Um, 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 oh, um, a mango. It's a butternut squash. Oh, I didn't know that. And a butternut squash is a fantastic thing to give. It's a bit difficult to chop, which I'll show you in a minute, but it is really, really nutritious. It's got lots and lots of vitamin C, and it will last for ages and ages and ages. And then, do we know what this is? It's um, something like a potato, but it's slightly different. And a sweet potato. Well done, it's a sweet well potato. Done. And again, it's as good as a potato. In fact, it's better because it's got lots and lots more vitamins and minerals in them instead. So we've got things like sweet potatoes, butternut squash, we've got a turnip, and we've got normal potato, and we've got our parsnips, and then we've got another favourite, which is carrots. So any what we call root vegetables, where you can just peel them and chop them up. Do you put them all together at the same time? That's a good question. You can do anything you like. You can make a batch of carrots and then freeze it and keep that separately. You can do it separately or you can mix and match. You can do whatever you, you fancy, really. 